The challenge Prime Minister has begun his eighth year in office. Prayut Chanocha entered politics in 2014, seizing power through a military coup. The former army chief is now leading the country through a growing crisis. Saxit Sayasambad looks at what the pandemic heralds for Mr Prayut's remaining two years as PM. This is probably not how Thailand's Prime Minister Prayut Chanocha imagined he would be spending the midpoint of his current term. At home running his government on Zoom, forced to isolate after a run-in with a positive COVID-19 case. This is his seventh year in power after seizing it in a military coup, and it's been two years since he won elections that critics say were designed for him to win. His government coalition holds a comfortable majority in the lower house. The 250 senators in the upper house are all handpicked by the previous military government. And together he has a solid block of support in both houses which together elect the prime minister. Things were said to look more or less stable for Prayut's government, that is until the COVID-19 pandemic hit. The government's decision for a nationwide hard lockdown last April drove the infection rate down for most of last year. But it was hesitant to do the same this year, citing economic reasons. Yet that decision not to lock down didn't stop Thailand's descent into the worst economic slump since the Asian financial crisis in the 1990s. Thailand now has thousands of new cases and dozens of deaths every day. The vaccine rollout has also been very slow. Just barely 5% of the population are fully inoculated, far off the intended goal of 70% by the end of the year. Critics are slamming the government for relying on the local production of AstraZeneca vaccines by a company owned by the king, making calls for transparency difficult, especially when supplies hit a snack. In an attempt to revive the economy's key tourism industry, Prayut is pitching to reopen the country to fully vaccinated tourists by around October, knowing full and well it's a gamble. ไม่ว่าเราจะเตรียมการป้องกันขนาดไหนก็ตามก็มีความเป็นไปได้ว่าอาจจะทําให้มีจํานวนผู้ติดเชื้อเพิ่มขึ้นบ้างแต่เมื
Thailand's political landscape has always been cloudy, and the last two years have not changed that. From growing dissent among Thai people to a pandemic-induced economic crisis with no way out on the horizon, the road ahead for Prime Minister Prayut chan is not as clear as when General Prayut chan took over powers in the coup seven years ago. Saksit Sarasombat, CNA Bangkok.